looking at discount allowed. These are cash. These are cash discounts allowed by a business to its customers. All right. In the when we're talking about trade receivables, okay, trade receivables, right? This is an expense account, right? It's a loss in money, so it's regarded as a form expense, right? Remember, a cash discount is a discount given to induce a quick payment or a payment within a prescribed period of time, all right? We sell you goods, okay, on credit, and we expect you to pay faster. So we award you a cash discount, so if you pay fast, right? So we're going to begin with our example here. Sold goods to M limited 10,000, in which they would be eligible for a 5% cash discount if paid within one week, right? So, the transaction is we're selling goods on credit, all right? The two accounts that will be affected are the sales account and receivables account, right? So we debit the receivables because it's an asset, and an increase in an asset is debited. So it's M limited, we debited 10,000. Right, then the sales account, an increase in sales, I mean, that's an increase in capital and we credit it, all right? It's a revenue account, so sales increase, an increase in a revenue account, we credit, so say credit 10,000, all right? So that's there. Journal entry, all right? Now we're going to go to the next transaction. M Limited pays the balance owing and is awarded the 5% cash discount all right so the two accounts that will be affected are actually this will be a compound general entry okay because now three accounts will be affected all right not two but three we've got discount allowed which will be affected the cash and the receivables all right the receivable is an asset they are paying us so that's a reduction in the receivable so we're going to credit m limited all right M limited will be credited, okay, because they receive more an asset. They have paid, all right, and so they'll be credited, all right. So what we're going to say, we're going to record the whole amount, ten thousand, right, ten thousand, right. But remember, they are not paying ten thousand. They've been given a five percent discount, right. So we're going to find what is five percent of ten thousand. So 5% is like 0 0.05, right? We divide 5 by 100, we get 0 0.05. So say 0 0.05 times, times 10,000, we get 500, all right? So they've been awarded a 500 quarter discount. So they are going to pay 10,000 minus 500, they're going to pay 9,500, all right? So our cash account will be debited, all right? Because there's an increase in cash. We received our money, 9,500, all right? And then we've incurred an expense of 500 because we've given their discount. So we're going to say discount allowed, we debit discount allowed, right? 500, okay? So this will be the general entry. Let me put 10,000 here. This will be the general entry. Okay, so let me make the all right. So let's put here debit and we credit. All right. So now let's go and look at the double entry for this transaction. Okay, so we'll open up the T accounts, right? Let's make small ones this time. Right, so for the first entry, okay, for the first entry, we're going to say we're going to we debited our receivable M limited. We debited our receivable 10,000, right? 
10,000, right? And we created the sales account, 10,000, right? Now, they paid their money, all right? They paid their money, okay? So, they paid, 9,500, okay, 9,500. Right. So we'll open up our cash account. All right. All right, open up our cash account. All right, this 9,500 is debited here, 9,500. All right, and then we also open up the discount allowed account. Let's say discount allowed, All right? Let's say discount. Okay, this is an expense account. Discount allowed. All right. And we debit the discount allowed 5,500. Okay. The discount allowed 500. And that's the general entry, right? That will be the general entry. Thank you guys and we'll see you next time. Oh, I forgot one more thing. I forgot one more thing. All right, we're also going to credit. Okay, we're also going to credit the our receivable 500. This 500 here, we're going to credit it to our receivable. That's just the last thing that I forgot. So thank you guys and we'll see you next time.